You can always cut the video later. I could always cut it later. It's fine. Hey, this is Donna Morgan and um, with FS Paranormal, and that's Andrew hey guys. Roy with FS Paranormal. That's my husband, Chris Morgan, right and we're here at the Mount Peace Cemetery in St. Cloud, Florida, we're enjoying a beautiful day, and I think fate brought us here today, so I'm going to just do a little video. Yeah, my mom's car room actually got messed up, and uh, we got that fixed. I actually did some audio recording in the uh, junkyard, and I believe I captured, Mom, I told you, uh, an EVP. Sounds like a gentleman speaking, asking uh, you can take it for a ride or something like that. It was like that. I'll show you guys later on Twitter. And we were talking about, other than a hospital where a lot of people may have died, what's the next um, object that would I mean, be associated uh, uh, with death? Uh, would other be than a battlefield, which I would perceive. Battlefield, it would probably be a junkyard because so many... When you think of a junkyard, you could think of, you know, that car could have just, you know, got a, a messed up rim and, and they just junked mm -hmm. it and the engine blew. It's fine. But you never know what could have happened to those people in those cars. And the amount and, of uh, fatalities here in Florida. I, I, I took a photo earlier, it actually says save me on the car. Now, could they just be saving the car for someone to take? Yeah, but you never know. Yeah. It could have a different could be meaning, anything. and maybe that's something that we'll explain later. But for now, we're here in Mount Peace Cemetery. We're gonna, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, just explore. I like this cemetery because it's uh, got a couple interesting aspects. Number one, if you look off in the distance, you'll see a Confederate flag. So there's some Confederate soldiers buried here. Um, way, way down here under the beautiful live oaks, you'll see a mausoleum. And then I, uh, I hear some noise of the sandhill cranes. Sure yeah, they're, they're being loud. And they're probably saying, hey, this is my territory, so why are you here? <laughs> Um, there's also some smaller burial uh, areas straight back here where you'll see um, names and um, they probably most likely include urns. And then around the middle of the cemetery is where we found some unusual gravestones that look like caskets that are above the ground. Remember those? Yep. And then also there's a nurse, what I call a nursery grave section here where there's just babies before when we were here we I recorded EBPs with what I thought was a choir and of small children and then this particular area here which we traverse well, back let's go ahead and walk real quick yeah we'll get we're gonna shade. walk it's okay hot it's hot yeah. um got water, guys, this so. area right straight ahead here is where dad's or my hat flew off my head and somebody and dad had it behind his back and some some voice was saying he has it behind his back so there's a lot of activity here it seems like it seems like whenever I go to a cemetery, even when it's new, or I've been to one before, as I stated many times on Twitter and YouTube, I've been to Shingle Creek Cemetery over 40 times. But out of those 40 times I've investigated, maybe 16 times I've captured EVPs and spirit box sessions. I don't get it all the time. Now, way off in the distance on the left, and I'm going to investigate that location because I feel like that spot holds a special moment to me. It's because I had a personal experience where I heard a female speaking in broad daylight, and it was just like a beautiful day like this, a little more overcast, but I heard it with my own ears, and it caught me off guard. I had to see if someone was over behind a bush right. speaking to a woman. I remember line. you calling me on that day, say, I can't yeah, believe I, it. I couldn't believe it. I'll never I heard it. It this so conversation. Clear. It was so clear. Yeah. And the video doesn't do the whole picture, because there was wind, and you can't fully hear it, but when I heard it, it gave me chills. Like my, yeah. my hair was sticking up on end. I, I've never experienced anything like that before. And, and I was, it was telling, just a personal experience I'll never forget. And it was I, awesome. I was telling you that when we had gone to South, uh, South Carolina and we were sitting in Charleston, I was waiting outside the villa, which Charleston has a really yeah, strong history. That particular area that we were in where there were slaves that were held there and prisoners. There was also and a fire. There was also the, a fire. The set on fire. I, I don't know if it was purposely or deliberately but yeah. it, it was it was caught on fire and I actually captured uh, before you continue mom yeah. I actually captured an EVP of a female saying I found some water I found some water and the irony of that is is that the town was caught on fire yeah. so what if that was a spirit of someone that yeah. passed away trying to save their business from a fire and they passed away but remember we had the two villas there and then one was the smaller one where dad and I stayed and yep. I told you I got an eerie feeling every time I went in there yeah. like yeah. I could feel there was a feeling that I would associate with like um loss of um, uh, faith or um, despair yep, and um, like someone had killed themselves in there but anyway when I was sitting on the stoop everybody was inside there was a moment where I heard a voice whisper to me help me yep. 
and, and I was in the middle of the daytime. I was sitting outside, and yeah, I, that was my personal experience where I heard a voice. And uh, it's not anything you can recreate or share with another person. Um, I have my cell phone out right now because I'm actually recording audio yeah. of my cell phone. And Mama, thank you for actually recording video. Uh, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just recording. I'm audio. looking and to it's, see. It's funny how that's I'll be doing that, and I can mm -hmm. capture voices on it, and it's it's, it's something that I love doing. Uh, I'm as hoping. You guys know, I sorry, Mom. I, I do love doing the spirit box, but um, as I stated. I don't have batteries, mm -hmm. but I wanted to just come today and just focus on EVP. And that's all Ex I wanted, so. that, That's where my forte is anyway. It always has been. So I went to a psych, uh, psychic in Castanaga before, which is a place, a spiritual camp in Florida. And she had said to me I was clairvoyant. I think that's what a lot of the children in my family are, my own children. Um, it's clairvoyance. Uh, so you're in touch with that sixth sense of yourself, as they say. And that's what allows you to shine through and people to speak to you, whether it's on recordings like EVPs or so in real life. Of Casadega, and Mom, maybe we'll be able to go one day. We do plan this year. I want to try this year to go to Yeah. I want to do an investigation near that devil's chair. There's a lot of investigators that say when you sit on that chair. Now, believe the irony of it is it's not really Satan they're talking about. They yeah. just named it that because of the color. Mm -hmm. But the chair was built for people to mourn for their loved ones. And yeah. they say that by sitting on that chair, just by sitting there, sometimes you get emotional. And mm -hmm. it's that energy of all the people that sat there over centuries and decades of, of mourning. So I want to see if I can experience that and maybe back up an EVP to claim. So that's hopefully Casadegas this year. If not, we'll, we'll do it. We're going to try to shoot for some new locations this year, guys. So and hopefully... Stay cemeteries, safe. graveyards, they're all about the, the our emotions because exactly. they're here for the living, actually not for the dead. Even though the dead reside here, they're for the living to visit those people. And uh, we, we all understand emotions are strong in our lives, especially those who maybe have seen um, the Avengers Endgame recently. I'm sure that was an emotional time for most of us. So, um, yeah, let's just kind of, um, why don't we end this video now and we'll do some EVPs. And okay, I do apologize, Xander, if you're not in the frame like you should be. But with the Florida sunshine and my screensaver, I'm not able to see it. So it's hopefully we'll be able to get some better recording equipment. I'm going to try to put the video together either way. Mom, you can send that to video to me on WhatsApp. But uh, yeah, guys, listen, so we're going to cut this video. And me and my mom are going to do separate EVP recordings and then compare our uh, evidence and hopefully capture something. Uh, like I state, you don't always capture something, but I feel like, I feel like, the reason why I feel like I like to, to, we have the shine in our name, is my mom also stated because of the movie The Shining, she showed me the scene, but I feel like if you go to a location with a bright aura saying that you're going to try to capture something, even though you don't say it, uh, chances are that's when spirits try to communicate with you, because they know you have that aura around you that's like bright. Plus, we're not intrusive or no, we or don't provoke. We, we don't provoke. provoke. We're very respectful. We never provoke. I never do that mm -hmm. because that's when you get to the other side that you don't want to deal with. No. So we like to it's stay all about positive. respect. And we're going to stay positive right now, guys, by getting off camera, doing some EVP recording. And as always, I'll put a slideshow with uh, text, what I believe is being said. And uh, then I'll do a video on my cell phone later as an outro. So uh, until then, guys. This is our first. A few seconds, hopefully, with maybe some evidence here to back up from Mount Peace Cemetery. Until then, guys. Okay, so it's May 2019. Yep. What is the date today? The uh, eight. Right is now. it the eighth? Uh, Nine. A little out of it's when, uh, May eighth. Okay, May eighth, uh, and this is our first session of the year. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, first investigation of the year, guys. Yeah. Like, we haven't done anything since our cross country trip, so it's been a while. So yeah. yeah, we're just going to investigate the cemetery, hopefully stay in the shade, Mom, because it's kind of hot. Yeah. Okay, we'll try to include some pictures as well. Bye, guys. Peace out.